Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Montana, and I'm going to demonstrate the workflow to order a Densply Serona Atlantis custom based abutment. Starting in Serona Connect, we enter patient information and move on to the administration screen. Now, here we're going to select where the implant is located, and then we're going to choose the laboratory that we want to send it to. We also click on the implant and the screw retain box, make sure we are ordering the correct abutment. Now, if you're already ordering one abutment, then you can just move on, but sometimes we have more than one implant. So I'm gonna demonstrate quickly a feature of this where we're gonna order or select our scan body. So we're gonna choose the brand of the implant, the type of the implant and the size, and then click on this. And I happen to use the Atlantis IO Flow scan bodies. And then we okay that. And it shows that we actually have selected the same scan body for both implants. Now, this is a great feature if you have multiple implants and they're the same one, because you don't have to go through each one and order or register the type of scan body. You just do it one time and you save a lot of time doing so. However, if the implants are different, then you want to edit the particular one that is different, in this case, the central incisor. So we're gonna go back to our scan body selection, choose the right one, okay it, and then move on. And then once done, we're ready to record the video. So we move on and we scan our patient. And we scan, of course, the upper jaw because that's where we've selected the implants. And I'm just scanning a model for demonstration purposes. And it's important that you scan the scan body completely. Now, once done, I will usually edit out some of the material on the scan that I don't want because I might want to print 3D models and I want them as clean as possible. But once this is done, I will then take this image, this scan, and drag it into the scan body box, like so. And then once in, I will copy it. And this creates a copy in the scan body box. When that is completed, I just simply have to scan the opposing arch, scan the bite, and move forward into the model stage. Now, once the model is created, I will usually look it over and evaluate where that access hole is going to be relative to the rest of the teeth, because that may affect my decision on design later on. Once this is done, I'm going to log into the case center and I'm going to place some details for the laboratory for how I order this. So ordering the, dat the data includes the gender of the patient, obviously who we want to send it to. In this case, I've created Dental Laboratory X. We're going to enter instructions to the, page, to the laboratory. I've chosen Atlantis Custom Base with possible angulated screw access. And we put a date on where we want to get it back. And then we send this. So we submit the cart. We give it the OK, the commission, move forward, and it's been done. Now, once this is sent, an email comes back to you telling you that the information has been sent and accepted by the dental laboratory. At the laboratory level, they will receive an email from Atlantis saying, go ahead and order the abutment. And they'll go in Atlantis web order, your laboratory will then go through the steps of ordering the abutment. And there's a drop down menu, so they will choose Atlantis custom base. They have a choice between gray or golden colored titanium. And they're going to choose the core file, which allows the laboratory to work on the actual restoration before receiving the abutment because they have a copy of this now. And once you choose core file, it also activates the angulated screw access box. And as I suggested for the number nine site, we want to use this. When done, we hit next and the laboratory then can decide if they want to make their own um, models, printed models, or have Atlantis make them. So they decide, they order, and off it goes. In a very short amount of time, the laboratory will receive an email that shows the design done by Atlantis. Now they can accept this and decide this is all fine, or they can edit it and design the abutment themselves. And in the design box, and there are options to rotate the image, to flip it to look at it from any of 360 degrees, but also to eliminate information they might not need at that moment, like the opposing arch, the actual arch, or this, uh, the planned restoration. Now, once they have the abutment, they can then edit the shape as they would prefer, width, height of the margin, whatever they wanna do. If they go a little too far, design something that can't be produced by Atlantis, 
the image turns red and all they have to do then is go back on their design a little bit and then once done, check the box and say, we're all set. That is the workflow for Atlantis Custom Base. Thank you very much.